third phase of Moon Blake Cousins. We are doing it live, and guess what? We have a special guest. You haven't heard from him in a few years now, but we got Dr. J back with us. You remember him? Yeah. Dr. J is with us right here at Third Phase Moon, and he's got some uh, information that we've been kind of wondering what's been going down with Edward Snowden. We haven't heard from him in quite a while, and we know that Donald Trump and Putin just met in Helsinki behind closed doors nonetheless. And what are they talking about? Well, some things are going down right now. Uh, Donald Trump's talking about the Space Force and what is going on with uh, Edward Snowden. Well, first off, I want to thank Dr. J for being with us right now on Third Phase Moon. Welcome back, Dr. J. Absolutely, Blake. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be back with everybody on Third Phase of Moon where I started literally six years ago and I want to thank you guys for having me back on and being here live together. Absolutely and uh, you know Dr. J's been through a lot but let's get to that some other time. Right now what is going down with Edward Snowden? Where's he been? This is what I gotta say. Obviously he was supposed to be sent home from Moscow because his citizenship was going to expire. If you don't remember, it was I believe it was either at the end of 2016 or sometime in 2017. However, Putin told him he could stay. Now, if you recall, Putin told Snowden he can get out of the Moscow airport and into Moscow and live because if you recall, he stayed in that airport at the hotel for over two months as his passport of the United States of America was taken away. He also publicly said, that, or Putin said, I will let him stay in my country as long as he doesn't publicly talk to the media about what I learned when I worked for the CIA, NSA, and other as private military contractors who do intelligence all over the world. To this date, the United States wants him as a traitor for the Espionage Act, Espionage Act, which goes back to the early 1900s. Now, Trump, as you said, Blake, met with Vladimir Putin in Helsinki, Finland. Closed doors. Just the two of them with their translators. And nothing is what they said is clearly what the fake news reported or would they even say at their joint press conference. I guarantee you that one of the topics was Edward Snowden. Why? Because Trump is an outsider. He's an outsider to the establishment for one. And two, he probably thinks, as if you recall, exclusively on Third Phase of Moon Radio, when I was working with you guys hosting on Revolution Radio in 2013, Senator Mike Gravel, the only politician in America to break ranks, called Snowden a true American hero. I think possibly that our president... Trump may also think the same thing. What does Edward Snowden, what can he tell us that this, no such agency or NSA or CIA are doing that are violating the Fourth Amendment rights of everyone and taking every cell phone, text message, and recording of your phone on or off that you know of 24 hours a day and archiving it? Putin has probably been debriefing him. He lives comfortably and safely and alive. Now, we all know what the CIA is capable of. If they wanted Edward Snowden dead, don't you think he would have been dead, Blake? That is the question. No doubt about it. Definitely, he has something that is keeping him safe right now, and that's why Putin is keeping him under his wing. And obviously, we've heard Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. J say back in the past and about what Trump has been saying now that Trump is kind of not a big fan of Edward Snowden but obviously there is some kind of deal being uh, brokered right now and we're not exactly sure what the situation is but I would like to hear some kind of statement from Edward Snowden we're kind of wondering where he's been he's been kind of silent lately we haven't heard from him on the major media any kind of network uh, uh, speech that he's been been doing over the past couple of years, he's been in uh, dead silence. Brent, what's your thoughts here? 
Yeah, it's totally incognito, in hiding is what's going on. And what I find interesting is none of the major media, even the press brief, briefings by the White House, nobody's even mentioned, mentioned the word Edward Snowden. And Putin and, and Trump, I do believe what Dr. J said, these guys are talking about it behind the scenes. And I'm just surprised that the liberal media is not even bringing it up. There is a uh, more mystery behind the subject of what Putin and uh, Donald President Trump talked about. Uh, any more speculation here? Here's the ironic thing. If you all recall, the last time the mainstream media actually gave a physical interview with Edward Snowden, which, by the way, Brent, I'm also glad you spoke on this matter, and it is a pleasure to have both the Cousins brothers live with me. But if you recall, everybody, the last time Edward Stone publicly spoke to the media, I believe was NBC, I could be wrong, but one of those networks, a journalist traveled to Moscow and interviewed him and asked, do you go into computer stores or anywhere and people say, hey, you're Edward Snowden? And Snowden's response was, no, I walked here and no one stopped me. Uh, what do you think? I walk around everyone, people stop me? No. As the most famous guy in the world, shown on every mainstream network, his photograph wanted throughout the world for the Espionage Act, right? Don't you think that what he said is probably untrue? That Moscow people clearly know who Edward Snowden is? He's been on the cover of so many magazines, so many news stories for years. Now, I don't think the Moscow House or anywhere Russia has CNN, but they clearly see American media as well because Putin may keep the new Iron Curtain down, but he has his country more open to the rest of the world than ever before. So what does Edward Snowden know about extraterrestrials? And like you said, we have the Space Force now. And recently, not only do we have the Space Force, you have Trump talking about new possibilities of what we might be able to do in space now. What does that mean? New discoveries? Does that mean we're finally going to have the real answer that extraterrestrials exist among us and we have been in contact? What do you say, Blake? And then Brent. Well, you know, uh, that is the big question. What does Edward Snowden know about extraterrestrials? That's going to be a new update coming up right here at Third Phase of Moon. Make sure you join in us. And uh, it's been my pleasure uh, having Dr. J back. Stay tuned. Keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. Thanks, Brent. And Dr. J, we'll see you again next time.